the year is still young and I guess most of us are still on holiday. So let's make the best use of the time out before everything gets crazy again. Madness, they say, is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting to get a different result. So in approaching 2020 and setting out the structures that we want to put in place to achieve our goals and aspirations, I want us to do something. Get a sheet of paper and a pen and on that sheet of paper, draw four columns or quadrants or boxes or anyhow you want to do it, but divide the paper into four. And under these four columns, I want you to do this. The first column, you're going to write all the things that made you successful in the year 2019. What did you do right? What worked for you? What were you able to achieve? Write those things down in that column. In the second column, I want you to write your failures. What couldn't you do? Why couldn't you do them? What were the challenges you faced? What went wrong? What were the mistakes that you made? In the third column, I want you to write the lessons you learned. Now, your lessons are going to be from the positive and also from the negative. What worked and what were the lessons that you learned and what didn't work and what were the lessons that you learned. Write all the lessons out in the third column. And in the fourth column, and very important column, you're going to write what you are going to do differently in the year 2020. What different approaches are you going to adopt in this year in achieving your goals and objectives? Last year, there, I didn't do very much in the area of my ministry. I have a, a small ministry. I didn't do much. I had a lot of challenges with location. I had challenges with time. And so this year, I'm going to adopt a completely different approach. I'm going to learn to delegate more. And I've also, of course, changed my venue. So I've been able to identify where my challenges are. And I've also been able to identify how I can change those things so that I can achieve my goals as far as my ministry is concerned. This is the, adopt, these are, this is the strategy that we should adopt in the year 2020 to ensure that we achieve our goals and objectives. So once again, I'm wishing everybody a very happy and prosperous new year. This year is going to be positive. This year is going to be a whole lot easier for us. It's a wonderful year. And I know that at the end of this year, we're going to have great testimonies of how far we've gone and what we have been able to achieve.